Welcome back to Mediocre Arts and Crafts in part four of our cardstock mini album. Today we're going to use some of the sheets from the Garden of Books 6x6 and also the special edition which is the armoire um, bookcases. Today we're going to get started with um, adhering the covers to the spines. We have three spines technically. So we have the spine on the right side, the spine on the left side, and then one on the inside. Um, so what I did is I went ahead and I cut some cardstock from the designer 12 by 12 paper pad. My goal was to cut down three strips of cardstock from the designer paper pad. And those are eight and one quarter by two inches. And so I wanted three of those, but as I was going through my scraps, instead of creating um, three at two inches, I ended up with two at two inches and one that was about um, an inch and three quarters. And that's because I just used the leftovers of the scraps that I had on hand from the pages that I had already cut into. Um, I decided to set some of the sheets, I think I have two or three of the 12 by 12 left that are intact that I wanted to use for another project. So here I just um, used these scraps and ended up with the two that are two inches and the uh, one strip that is at one and three quarters. I hope that makes sense. So here I just take a minute and decide what I want where. Um, it took me a second to realize that um, I was probably going to put some decorations on top of these spines and also that I wasn't sure what side you would put into the bookshelf if you were putting it in a bookshelf and what would face out and it probably depends on if you're right-handed or left-handed or something like that and so as I was overthinking it I just decided to cover them <laughs> so the two strips that are two inches wide are going on the outside spines and then the one that is one and three quarter inches wide is going to go on the inside spine here. So now I'm ready to cover the flap and so I have my two pieces of cardstock and those are cut at eight and one quarter by two and three quarters. Paying special attention to which corners to round to have it match the um, cover. And now I have my reminders that I want to put some magnets here. Now these magnets are, um, I think, niodium. Niodium, yes. Um, they are very thin and very small and pretty strong for their size. So I um, go ahead and take two of the magnets. And you'll see here that I glue one magnet down. And then I cover it up with the mint tape to kind of ensure that it stays in one glued in one place that so doesn't move around as it's drying and then I'll take the other magnet and I will um, kind of attach that magnet magnet to magnet um, above another piece of tape so that I'm sure that the magnets are facing in the right direction that they're going to attach when they get close instead of reject each other. So this is the process that I use. Of course, I had some trouble uh, keeping my magnets all 
together. And this is the point in my project that she's decided to join me on the table. So she'll make her way out in a minute. No! Honey. So here I am uh, gluing down the first magnet. I'm kind of deciding where it should go based on where the flap ends. I want it towards the end of the flap. So I go ahead and glue one of the magnets in that little spot. And then you'll see that I go ahead and I put a piece of tape over it just so it stays uh, safe and stays in one place while it's drying. And then I take this other piece of tape and lay it over that existing piece of tape with the sticky side up. And so basically what I'm doing is I am uh, creating a way to have the um, magnets be, to know for sure that the magnets are going to attach to each other. So I can tell there that they're um, magnetized, that they're gripping and then easily be able to glue it to the exact spot that it needs to be on the flap. So here I'm just kind of lining things up and out of frame, I'm, there we go. <laughs> I'm putting glue on the magnet, closing it up, closing up the flap, and then I pushed down on the tape to make the tape adhere as well. So that's how you make the two magnets connect um, to know that they're in the right orientation and um, to kind of keep them in the right spot. If you eyeball this, sometimes you have one magnet that's like an inch to the left or the right. So this is the um, this is the technique that I use. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do two more sets of these magnets here. And not that it matters, but I just noticed that I am working here with one uh, sleeve of my hoodie pulled all the way down to my wrist and one that is up at my elbow. And for some reason that is bothering me right now. Apparently didn't bother me when I was filming this, but I can't handle it. <laughs> and now that I have the magnets all situated, I am going to grab the cover for the flap and the front cover and um, take the tape off and I get these pages covered up. I recently picked up a vintage uh, Yahtzee game and have been using the Yahtzee cup for some of my tools. So that's one of my new toys that I'm excited about. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the inside covers. So we have two spots here that we need to cover up. We need this back piece and then this front piece. And so I was um, running out of 12 by 12 sheets actually i did have enough 12 by 12 sheets in the 
12 by 12 pack to cover these. But what I was trying to do was incorporate some of the six by six pages and also, um, like I said earlier, set two or three of the 12 by 12 sheets up aside to work on another project with them. So we'll, I will have a link to the full playlist below, but you can see here that I used the same technique to create these flaps as I did um, the flaps in the previous video. It might have been video two or three. So from a design perspective, I thought it would be weird if um, this page looked like it was just randomly cut in half. So I decided that um, I would have a six by six sheet below the flap of the six by six flap. Follow along with me here. There we go. And then the piece on the top would just be an alternating design. So it looks a little cut off and then we're gonna embellish those later. So here I take my flap and I put some glue down and glue it to the paper first, just so I kind of um, can work with one element and then glue that whole thing down, just like I did for the flaps on the other pages. So there we go. And I'm gonna glue that down. And you can see here that before I glue it down, I'm just kind of checking my seams, checking um, where the paper will come together and that everything's gonna fit within the score marks on the right and the left-hand side of this uh, section before I glue it down. And then you'll see I do basically the same thing for the inside front cover, except this has one flap on the right side and one flap on the left side, unlike the last one where we just had it uh, from one direction. I don't know any One Direction songs, so I'm not going to sing.
Thank you so much for joining me for part four of our cardstock mini album. Don't forget to like and tell your friends because I'm so close to 500 and I would love to get there soon. Thank you so much for all your support and don't forget, safety first.